Okay. Beer, you're gonna and have welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Special K. I'm Radar, and today we got Angry Orchard Hard Cider. It is the Orchard's Edge Old Fashioned Hard Cider. It's 5.5% alcohol by volume. It is. I can't believe I remembered all that. It is H on cherries, <laughs> orange peel, and bourbon. I guess everything is bourbon barrels. Like people. I mean. The bourbon industry needs somewhere to unload their barrels. I, I can understand See, that. See, like the bourbon barrel thing's been going on in Kentucky for a very long time, but not so much everywhere else. Now it's like everywhere. It's because everyone else is going, you know what's really good? Bourbon. You know what we need to do? Make beer that tastes like bourbon. A cider that tastes like bourbon. Apparently. A cider that tastes like bourbon and also cherries, apparently. And oranges. And oranges. Peels. Peels. Orange peels. The nasty part of the orange. Um, but doesn't that make you crap? I think it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember when I juice, they say do does. not make sure you don't juice it's, those. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to juice the peels. Makes you crap. Yes. I shouldn't know that. I don't even have a juicer. All right. So <laughs> the color is a typical cider color. It's like a pale, uh, off yellow, like green tea. Green tea color. Green yeah, tea. it's kind of a uh, Lipton green tea color. Uh, carbonation is light to medium. It's got kind of a. It's got an apple scent to it, but it's also. Uh, I get a bourbon. I get some bourbon barrel in there. Like you get the little, the molasses. Yeah. yeah. That, okay, molasses. You're right. You're you're correct. Um, but I don't. I don't get orange peel or. Or cherry. Or cherry. No. So. I mean, I imagine that make the the cherry flavor is kind of. It's or, very. It's cherries in there. <laughs> Cherry is in there. I was not expecting that. See, I was that. thinking that the bourbon barrel would, would, would cover up the it's cherry, a, but let's go with this. I don't know if I like that. It's very cherry, that's for sure. And there's a lot of cherry. Too cherry. It almost doesn't taste like a cider. Like, at the very end, it tastes like cider. It's malty. Yeah. It's is it malty of, towards the back end? I feel yeah. like it's malty. It's got that kind of... It's got, it's got that kind of... I mean... I get orange and cherries together. You get the orange and cherry together. The cherry almost almost artificial to me, in my opinion. And then it's kind of malty. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about this. It doesn't really taste like a bourbon barrel thing at all. It's weird. Weird. I agree. Words. Weird. Words. Um. Yeah. See, this this is bothering me again it's because kinda... there are a lot of there are a lot of drinks right now on the market that claim to be something on the bottle, and then you consume them, and they are not that thing. That is what this is, but in the opposite extreme. They probably just like cut up a bourbon barrel and like mix it in and strain it out. Could be, but but. Like, it does say that it's got cherry in it. And it's very, it's very cherry. cherry. It reminds me of, like, they put cherry icy. But I got no orange in this. I get a little orange. I got no lot. bourbon barrel. I mean, I get, there's, there's kind of a, uh, uh, there's kind of a, a heaviness that you might get from a bourbon barrel, but I don't get a, uh, an overly. I'm not digging the finish, too. It's malty, but then it's got some funk back there. This doesn't even really taste like an ale. Or, or a cider. Not, not an ale. It doesn't really taste like like a cider. It tastes like a a cherry malt beverage. I agree. With some some like peripheral flavors going on. Um, it's not undrinkable. No, it's I not. I can finish this. It's not. I would drink this. Price is ten dollars a six pack. Dollar ninety nine for a bottle. Uh, not horrific. Uh, about normal for a cider. Um, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five and a half. Um, Slightly above average, however, it's just eh. It's just okay. Uh, nothing. It doesn't. It's not terrible by any means. It's just it's okay. There's nothing. Good, there's no good qualities in the side, in my opinion. I think the cherry's too artificial. Uh, I, I disagree a little bit. And it's a little. It's too. It's almost sticky sweet. But you, radar. I'm gonna give it a seven. Now. Understand what that means. It's not what it claims to be, so I'm taking off points for that. It's very cherry -y, but I happen to really like the flavor of cherries. So sue me. I like um, cherry flavor too, but this is... I think this is really, really good, and they could have named it something else, 
that would have made more sense for what it tastes like. It doesn't really taste like a like a like a cider. Cherry apple cider. But if they marketed this as a, uh, a, a, a yeah a cherry apple cider, like make cherry the superhero of this of this beer, go for, or of this cider, go for it because cherry is very very prominent. Um, I mean, I took points off because it's not what it claims to be. But I'm still giving it a 7 because it's pretty good. I would drink this again. I'll probably buy it again. Just own, I, I can't recommend it. I think there are better ciders out there. Um, every Woodchuck product and almost every Angry Orchard product is better than this one. Um, if you're wanting to try it, by all means, get a get a you know a sampler. Try to get a sampler of it or something, or get a single. I wouldn't you know I wouldn't buy a whole six pack. It's not worth it because uh, you probably get stuck with five other bottles you don't care for. Mm, and even though me. I'll I'll drink them. And I do enjoy cherry flavor, but I just feel it's too artificial in this. I mean, it is it is kind of an artificial cherry flavor. I I would go for a whole six pack of this honestly, but. If you are not real hot to not not real hot to trot on the uh, on the cherry flavor, Words. that's right. I said hot to trot. Words. I went back to the seventies with that. I think that's the seventies, isn't it? Anyways, get a six pack of this if you enjoy cherry flavored things, not cherries, cherry flavored things, um, like I do. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm Radar. Thanks for, Thanks for watching.